Hey guys. So today I'll show you the difference between an armor stand and a boat, in terms of using them in a projectile command. So before we start, which one do you think is better to use? Is it the armor stand, or boat, what side you're in? And let's see if this video will make you change side. So without further ado, let's compare them. So let's start by comparing their flexibility. Let's start with the boat. I think most people already know this, with boat, your projectile can be shot at any direction. Whether you shot it vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, that is just a piece of cake when you use boat in your projectile command. Now let's check the armor stand. As you can see, it just curves then it goes straight horizontally. Regardless of whether you shot it upwards or downwards, it will just find a way to move straight horizontally again. To make it short, using an armor stand as the base of your projectile will restrict the movement of your projectile to only straight horizontal. Now let me show you the difference of the commands between these two. As you can see, both of these are composed only of six command blocks. And actually, both of them have a very similar commands. So let's check it. So this is the first command. For the first command, it actually doesn't concern anything about the boat or the armor stand. This is just to detect if the player threw a snowball, so that the following commands will be activated. And these are the commands that will get activated after throwing a snowball. So after throwing a snowball, this command will summon a boat or armor stand respectively. This one will summon a normal boat 100 blocks above the player. And this one will summon an armor stand named projectile in the player's location. Now let's proceed to the next command. So since we can't rename a boat, this command will add a projectile tag to the boat 100 blocks above the player. And since we don't need to add a tag to the armor stand, since it can be renamed, this command will just make the armor stand to move forward. Now for the fourth command. So this one will just make the boat to move forward. Now this command will set the max range for the armor stand. So when the armor stand reaches more than 30 radius from the player, this command will kill that armor stand. All right, move on to the fifth command. So this one is the command to set the max range for the boat. This is pretty much the same as the fourth command for the armor stand. The only difference is since we summons the boat 100 blocks above the player. That's why we need to adjust the execution position of this command to 100 blocks below the boat. And this one is simply the command for the particle emitting from the armor stand. Alright, let's move on now to the last part. This command will make the boat to emit the particle, 98 blocks below the boat. And this one will just make the armor stand invisible. So if you pay attention to the commands, you will notice that the big difference between the commands of the boat and armor stand are only the third and sixth command. Since we can't rename the boat, that's why we need to add tag instead, so that it will be unique from other normal boats. And since we can and we don't need to put invisibility effect to the boat, that's why only the armor stand need this invisibility command. Now as we know, armor stand can hold an item, and is also good if you're making a projectile that needs the item to be visible. Just like if you're making a Thor hammer command like this. And as you may know or not, I use this kind of command in some of my creations. Feel free to check them if you're interested. Now as for the boat. Obviously, boat can't hold an item. But even though both have some restrictions, do you know the quote, two, is better than one? Combining boat and armor stand is also a very good way to overcome their own restrictions. The Thor hammer command that I showed earlier can only move horizontally, and I already explained why is that. 
But if we combine both boat and armor stand, the projectile can hold an item and can also move to any direction, making it a very flexible projectile. Now let me show you something. I will be using my vortex command to show you what it looks like if you use boat or armor stand at a creation that uses a lot of those. So if you have a command creation that repeatedly summons boat or armor stand, this will help you to see the difference. So let me show you first this vortex command that is based on armor stand. Now take a look, and remember this appearance. Now let's see the vortex command that is based on boat. Can you see the difference? Here's a closer look. The left side is the boat, the right side is the armor stand. You can see that the armor stand looks more cooler than the other one. And the vortex with boat looks a little bit disoriented. And the explanation to that is very simple. Armor stand can't be pushed by an entity. It can only be pushed by pistons. While boat, on the other hand, is pushable by entity. And although we are using teleport command to make the boat moves, there are still times where boats can be pushed by other boats. And since the vortex command repeatedly summons boats from its orbit, the boat that has been summoned has been colliding with other boats. That results the disoriented particle effects. Let me show you one more example. I have here a simple command creation that continuously summons boats and armor stands. With this, you will be able to see more clearer which one can be used to produce much smoother particles. This armor stand repeatedly summons armor stand. And this one for the boat. Here you can already see the difference. Let me make it spin. Now I'm pretty sure you already see now the difference. Let me give you a top view. Alright, so those are the difference between the boat and armor stand. So, I want to ask you. Did this video made you change your mind about the boat and armor stand? And which one do you prefer to use on your creations? Kindly comment it down below. So, anyways, special thanks to these people for supporting this channel. Your help is such a big deal for me. And for everyone who are watching this video. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope.